What makes your videos feel professional? Well, it's actually a few things. Take a look at this jar. You've got great footage, solid editing, some nice color grading, but the jar is still only half full. What actually makes the biggest difference is how you edit your music with your video. So today I'll show you five editing tricks that will instantly upgrade the feel of your edits. Starting with number one. This is actually a huge mistake a lot of you make. So you have a track underneath your video and to end it, you're trimming it until it matches with the length of your video and then you're letting it fade out. Well, that works, but I'm gonna show you something much better. Instead, head over to the end of your song and find the last beat. That usually has a natural fade out. Then right before the beat hits, add a cut. Now trim away the excessive music and now you have to pay attention. You can't just drag it against your music, add a crossfade and call it a day. That doesn't work. You gotta match this beat with one of the beats in your song. Look, I added some markers on this song to highlight the beats. We're gonna slice away the part that comes after the last beat and then snap the end against it. Now no one will notice that you've sliced around in your track. Trick number two. This one is a cool one. Imagine you have a video of some people outside of a club. Usually in real life, you hear the music outside as well. So we're dragging our track underneath it and boom. You thought it was that easy, right? No, there's one more important thing you gotta do. Find the parametric EQ in the effects browser and drag it on your clip. Then head over to the effect controls and click edit to open it up. Now, before we do anything, let's think. When you're standing outside of a club, only the strong frequencies reach your ears. That's why it sounds so muffled. The strong frequencies are the bass frequencies, so we gotta let them through. We have to get rid of the high frequencies and to do that, enable the low pass band. Then increase the amount of frequencies that won't pass the EQ and there you go. That sounds amazing. Trick number three. Now, what's the problem with most music libraries? Everyone uses the top 20% of music libraries, so everything sounds the same. Kind of like the music you hear in an elevator. Well, I found a music library that gave me the opposite feeling, and I want to show it to you guys. Finding the music you want can be painful, but that's where Melody came with a solution. They completely changed the way you search for music. You can search by describing a feeling or mood. For example, walking through a rainy forest. AI will then know exactly what to show you. Now, if you want, you can also upload reference tracks. The AI will then listen to your song and give you similar music. The same thing works by just copy and pasting a YouTube or Spotify link to a song you like. Melody will listen to your song and then give you similar tracks that are copyright free. You know what? I'm gonna try it out and see if it works. Let me search for an old song. For example, The Gambler from Kenny Rogers. One of my favorite artists, by the way. All right, the results are in. Okay, yeah, that definitely works. If you came across a track you already love, you can even click the similar button to get more similar songs. Now, a big bonus is that you can create playlists on here. This is so useful. As you can see, I have a different playlist for every project. I absolutely recommend you try out these search tools and see if you like it. I'll leave a link for you guys down below. Thanks Melody so much for sponsoring this video. And now it's time for trick number four. Edit your videos on the beat and that's actually super simple in Premiere. First, you gotta feel the rhythm. Play your track in the timeline and start tapping M on your keyboard to drop markers on every kick and snare. You're basically mapping out the heartbeat of your edit. That way you'll place markers that are in sync with the heartbeat of your track. Now head over to the project panel where all your clips are located. Let's open up the big view right here. So if you hover your cursor over your video, you can kind of preview it. If you press I on your keyboard, you can set an in point. This is where your video will start once you drag it in the timeline. Then if you go further in time, you can also set an out point. Do that for all the clips you want to sync with your song. Next, drag them in the order you'd like them to appear in your sequence. Once that's done, hit Ctrl or Command A to select all your clips. Next. 
just click this little icon at the bottom. This will open up the automate to sequence window. In this panel, make sure to set the ordering to sort order. Then for placement, choose markers. That way they will be synced to your markers of course. Then click on OK and there you go. perfectly sync with your music. Trick number five. Technical tricks that I cannot exclude from this video. Sometimes, no matter how much you lower the volume of your track, it's still annoying and it interferes with your speech. To fix that, we're gonna do two things. Remove the sub frequencies of your track and lower the high frequencies using an equalizer. You'll find it back in the effects library and then of course drag it on your song. Now head over to the effect controls and in here, click on edit to open it up. Enable the high bass band and that will allow you to cut away the low frequencies. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the high frequencies to get rid of some of the details of our music. That way, the high frequencies of your voice will come through easier. Welcome to Copycat Friday, a series where we recreate some cool effects and that's a lot better. Next, I wanna show you how to create this cool underwater effect in Premiere Pro. Told you it was cool, so to continue the lesson, click the video right here on my left. Thank you so much for watching.